As I stroll this quaint Holland village with its canals and historic buildings, each more ornate than the last, I'm transported by its beauty. The holiday lights and displays embody the magical feeling of the season. My eyes wander to the fancy store windows with beautiful clothes and gifts, all displayed with meticulous attention. And a faint, yet very familiar, feeling of wanting bubbles up within me. Even after being a minimalist for 15 years, I'm not immune to the draw of consumerism. Perhaps it's because of the lifetime of clever marketing enticing me to buy more, or simply my old shopping habits from years prior. Regardless, we live in a material world. The temptation to consume more stuff will always be there. I'm sharing a few ways I avoid the materialism trap and live my life in simplicity. If you look at what you have in life, you'll always have more. If you look at what you don't have in life, you'll never have enough. I'm only truly content when I appreciate the abundance in my world, which is true for all areas of my life. Love, health, money, and possessions. When I'm not grateful for the things I have, my wanting becomes a bottomless pit of desire, constantly craving more. Scarcity thinking is toxic and spreads quickly to all areas of my life. Continually chasing after more things robs me of enjoying what I already have. It is in the appreciation and enjoyment of the things I have today, not in the things I desire tomorrow, that brings me true joy. I have abundance when I'm grateful. I used to measure my self-worth by the things I owned until we lost nearly everything in the 2008 recession. This was the most difficult financial time I had ever experienced. After the storm had passed with the selling of our home, cars, and most of our belongings, I had some real soul searching to do. With most of my possessions gone, it was time to reevaluate my priorities and my values and to really search out what my self worth was. I no longer identified my self worth with the things that I owned, which left me time and money to spend on things that brought me joy and meaning into my life, like spending time with family, cultivating deeper relationships with friends, and exploring new experiences. Each day working to become a better version of myself. As challenging as that time was, it taught my husband and me how to talk about money, and also it caught us on the same page regarding paying off debt, savings goals, and investments. 
neither of us ever want to be in that financial position again. Before I purchase anything, I ask myself, is this purchase aligned with my priorities? Shopping without purpose can become a form of entertainment or even a habit. Being intentional with my purchases, I was able to redefine my relationship with shopping and money. Mindfully planning out where my money goes each month helps me spend and save wisely. I used to view budgets as being very restrictive, but by simply incorporating a budget, it actually gives me freedom to buy things guilt-free because I have already planned and set aside money for that purchase. The most important things in life are the connections you make with others. The more years I live on this planet, mortality is all too real. New grandbabies are born, while elderly loved ones are lost. Like all living things, our time is finite. It is not my possessions that will be the sum of my life. It will be the connection with others that I will be remembered for. My husband will not recall the various purses I have owned throughout our years of marriage. He will, however, remember our many adventures and love for each other. I do not wish to leave behind a box of my old things, but instead a mountain of fond memories and a legacy of love. I appreciate all of your support for my little channel. If you enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing. Have a beautiful day, my friends.